we're going to be making homemade style kettle corn. First, you're going to need a big bowl. A big one. Next, you're going to need a pan with a lid. Make sure the lid fits. Then, you're going to need some cooking oil. And some popcorn kernels. And don't forget the agave nectar. That's important. And some butter buds or some buttered powder. And some popcorn salt or just very fine salt would work. Next, you're going to need some sugar, some powdered sugar, or an artificial sweetener. And don't forget some napkins. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to have a napkin, and you're going to fold it up nice and tight into a little square. And then you're going to take the oil and get a little oil on the napkin. And you're going to rub just a bit on the pan. You want to get the oil all the way around the pan up to the top so it's everywhere. Next, we're going to pour a little bit of oil into the pan. We're going to take the agave nectar and put it in with the oil. Fill the pan all the way on the bottom. you can see that the oil and the agave nectar cover the bottom of the pan. The reason why we use agave nectar is because it doesn't burn like sugar would if we were going to use sugar. Then you're going to want to take the popcorn and this pan will take about a cup of popcorn. So you're going to want to measure out a cup of popcorn. Next, we are going to turn the stove on high and take one kernel, drop it in and put the lid on and now we'll just wait for that to pop. As soon as it pops, you're going to take the lid off and quickly pour the popcorn kernels into the bowl. Okay, it popped. After you pour the kernels in, gently shake the pan. The moisture on the top of the lid will, will make the popcorn wet, which is good. It'll make the butter and the salt stick. Alright, it's popping. Let's start shaking the pan a little bit. All right, it's really popping now. You want to shake it so the popcorn doesn't burn. Once everything is popped, you're going to pour it into the big bowl. It's really hot, so I got my dad to help me with this part. You can see how the agave covered some of the popcorn. They're like yummy little candy popcorn. Now we're going to flavor it up. The popcorn's a little wet. That's good, because that means the butter and salt will stick. Now for the salt, and you don't need a lot. Now you can put on your powdered sugar or your artificial sweetener, whatever you prefer. Take a spoon, and you're going to gently stir so you get everything evenly coated. Now, you can grab a seat by the TV and enjoy your homemade agave kettle corn.